OPG. Hey guys, Zero Eleven here. And today, you got a hobby box of 20, 21 OPG hockey featuring 10 cards a pack, 18 packs per box. So 180 total cards. OPG has a 600 card base set, including 100 short print cards. That include 30 marquee rookies. Marquee legends are back. There's 20 cards of those. Team checklist, team leaders, season highlights, stuff like that. But yeah, that's the biggest draw for me in this. Apart from one card we'll get to soon, a couple cards actually, but it's a large base set. You'll see players that you don't normally see. On top of that, there's parallels to the base. There's your blue border, red border, which the red borders are one per box. And there's black borders number to 100. We should be getting a retro card every pack. There's blank backs to look out for. Also, playing cards. I have a bunch of them. They're hobby exclusive, and we should be getting three playing cards per box. The aces are the tough ones to pull. There is OPT Premier Tall Boys in here. They're one in five. There are short prints of those as well. There isn't really any autos or mem in here, but there are some intriguing patches in here. You can get all sorts of trophies. You can get the Hall of Fame logo. You can get the Stanley Cup. Plenty of patches in here. I'm not super huge on them, but the ultimate chase card in here is a gritty mascot patch card. One in 18,750 packs. Now I know there's a redemption for Lafreniere and there's cool Easter egg 3D cards in here and you can get platinum preview cards in here. Photo variations are in here. Like you look for the rookie year image, handshake image, black and white, but the gritty card is what we're looking for. It goes for a freaking boatload. Oh my gosh. I really want to get one. But yeah, looks like a pretty interesting break. Again, it's not for your hit junkies. It's for your upset builders, really. And I'll show that right there. Patches are one in 72. I don't know that math equation, but they're like one in five boxes. One in four boxes, you I don't know, but before I continue on, this box cost 75 Canadian. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, 2021 OPG. We got some Chronology Volume 2. Okay, looks like we got some current players finally. That's nice. The previous time was a bunch of retired players with varying levels of relevancy. No offense to those players, but some players barely played. Like, played like a few hundred games a league, but almost 200 different signers. Whoa, advertising for Chronology. Yeah, and there's talking about the rookies for 2021 which is pretty crap right now not gonna lie all right first pack of 2020 21 opg these packs are opening like oh my what the heck what the heck are these packs well i don't know if that's me or those are just messed up i guess we'll find out soon but here's the base braid mcnab that's a interesting base card pretty decent right there there you go Braden mcnab i don't know if it has their full career i think that's mcnab's full career there so there you go okay Got a Connor McDavid. I don't think that's a variation or anything. There's Zemgis Gergensons, Marcus Nunivara. There's a bunch of base in here. There is a Premier Tall Boys of Mitch Marner. So that's not too bad there, Mitch Marner. Premier Tall Boys. Got a Brian Dumoulin. There you go, Brian Dumoulin retro. So there's a retro. Yeah, it's kind of meh. Yeah, I'm not too huge on that. Pretty basic. Uh, we got Leon Dreisaitl, King of Spades there. Leon Dreisaitl, playing card, so that's nice. Back is different. Usually it's, I don't feel like reaching over, it's more of a blue back to it. So there's that. Um, there's a Marquee Legends of Ray Bork. So Marquee Legends are back. There you go, Ray Bork. Look at those point totals. Unbelievable. But yeah, there you go, Ray Bork, Marquee Legends. Got Elias. There's Elias and Taylor Hall. Okay. All right, let's try not to mess up the base here. Again, they make these packs really darn tough to open. Like, what the heck is this? This, uh... Okay, I know it's a cheap product, but geez, okay. All right, there's Justin Williams, Max Pacioretty, Dylan Strom, Patrick Kane, Scott Mayfield Blue, so there's a blue parallel, Scott Mayfield. There's a Ryan Suter, Black Border, that is numbered 60 of 100. That's not his full career, because he's broken in 0506, so I don't know why they wouldn't just have all 15 seasons. Okay, Justin Schultz Retro, Kyle Capobianco, and there's a checklist 301 the 400 so there's a checklist and we got joel faraby okay next pack up here of opg i'm just hoping to get a gritty card and there is a gritty playing card that's unannounced i should have mentioned that earlier i probably threw it up earlier but yeah there's Derek forbort there's mackenzie blackwood kim atkinson dylan gambrell like players like this have cards they don't usually have cards Derek brassard patrick kane retro there you go. Team checklist of the Leafs. There's the Leafs checklist. Cody Cece has a card. Uh, Vinny Trocek, Paul Byron, and Devin Dubnik. Okay, continuing on here. Look at these freaking packs. They're such a pain to open. What should we get here? Colin White and uh, 
Wow, I guess the NHL must have let Upper Deck know that they were switching logo because I'm pretty sure this came out before they officially switched their logo, but there's Colin White, okay. There's Peter Morazic, there's Nazem Kadri, Zach Cassian, Damon Severson, retro, Damon Severson, Chris Drieger, red, first marquee rookie, Calvin Turkoff, marquee rookies. So there's the first one there. He's already fricked off. He's playing in Switzerland in his home country, so he's already gone. But there you go. There's Dom Kubalik, Brock Nelson, and Warren Fogel. All right, so 18 packs. Actually, it's like double the amount of packs of SP Authentic, or total cards. Same amount of packs is what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right, Zach Wierenski, Jake Allen, Nikita Gusev, Ryan Suter, Nephew Tyler, Adam Fox, Second year, I guess, uh, retro card. There is a team checklist for the New York Islanders. There you go, some interesting names there. Okay, Kiefer Bellows has rookies, huh? Uh, Vlad Nemestikov on the abs there. Black border, 63 of 100 for Vlad Nemestikov there. Okay, Connor Brown, Jonathan Bernier. All right, continuing on here. 19, or 2021, 20, I'm not gonna get used to that. Jacob Chikrin, Marty Natchez, Nate Schmidt, Hey, Quinn Hughes card. Wow, there's Quinn Hughes. There's a season highlights of Henrik Lundqvist fitting. He just got Bono and Mark Stahl as a Red Wing now, so that's kind of uh, in the past there. October 3rd, 2019, huh? I'm recording this right around that time. So, yeah, there you go. That's interesting. Uh, league leaders and points, Leon Dreisaitl. There you go. Brought home a bunch of hardware this uh, past year. There's Dreisaitl. There you go, 110 points. Matt Grizzlick, Marcus Sorensen. Sammy Blay and Alex Nylander. Okay, a lot of these players don't usually have cards, like most of those players in that previous pack there. At least the back half of that pack. Like, this isn't a normal pack, what the heck? Okay, I'm not taking seven years to open these, it's just OBG. Andre Svechikov, Brain Holpe, Patrice Bergeron, Tom Wilson, Andrew Mangiapane, Travis Hamannick, Retro, yeah. Marty Broder, Marquee Legends, Marty Broder, okay. UC Soros, Jamie Benn, and Brady Shea. Okay, there's Mark Stone, Clayton Keller, Philip Grubauer, Blake Wheeler, Mark Stone, Blue, Bo Horvat, Retro, Bo Horvat, Four of Diamonds, oh, what the heck? Four of Diamonds, um, Alexander Barkov, there you go, Four of Diamonds, and Ten of Hearts in the same pack, Artemi Panarin, there you go, Panarin, Ten of Hearts, Tanner Pearson, Darcy Kemper, John Merrill. Yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward me struggling to open these packs. Jeez, everything is, uh. All right, well, Ryan O'Reilly, Ben Bishop, John Carlson, Matthias Janmark, Mark Stone, Premier Tall Boys. Mark Stone, there's Marcus Nudivara. Okay, Retro, Vegas Golden Knights, Team Checklist, there's Vegas, okay. Ryan Strom, Mark Shifley, and Josh Manson. So, so far, it's kind of a mad break for me. I'm not gonna lie, it's not very exciting at all. I'm not overly huge on it, though OPG does have a place in the hobby. It's been around forever. So, Connor Hellbuck, Dante Fabro, Dennis Gurionov, Noah Hannafin, Thomas Shabbat, Evgeny Malkin Retro. The retros feel really flimsy, like more than years past, huh? Gustav Lindstrom. Oh my gosh, a Lindstrom on the blue line of the Red Wings, except it's spelt differently. That's actually a decent one there. Gustav Lindstrom, a rookie there. Okay, there's Tyler Myers, Eric Johnson, and Steven Stamko, Stanley Cup champion. Oh my gosh, I hate opening these packs. They're such a pain. Jonathan Marcheseau, Craig Anderson, Carl Hagelin, Rupe Hintz, Roman Yossi, Premier Tallboys, Anders Bjork, Retro, Dougie Hamilton, Blue, Jane Schwartz, Black Border, 60 of 100. Why wow, they all 60 of 100, okay? Kirby Doc, second year, and Oscar Lindblom, okay. All right, final pack of the middle stack. Uh, these packs, okay. There's PK, Connor Murphy, Kevin Shine, Kirk, Linus Allmark, Drake Kajula, Marquee Legends Retro, Bobby Hall. So there you go, Marquee Legends Retro, Bobby Hall. That's a decent card there. Season highlights, uh, Joe Thornton, 1,600 games played. There you go. Jeff Carter, Aaron Dell, Marcus Lino. So I would assume 2020, 2021 Series 1 will have the first cards with uh, players in the bubble. Maybe, maybe not. I would hope so. Get a Nick Robertson Young Guns, among others. But yeah, Timo Meyer, 
Austin Wagner, Carter Sherry, Alex Ayafalo, Brandon Saad, Andre Kasha, Retro on the Bruins. Okay. Andre Chibisov, marquee rookies for the Jets there. Andre Chibisov, Chandler Stevenson, Tyler Johnson, and Miko Koskinen. Yeah, so far, not so much doing in this box, OPG. I mean, that's expected. It's not about value for these at all. So, Eric Gustafson, Nicholas Backstrom, Adam Lowry, Carter Verhege. Hey, I'll take that. Carter Verhege. Rookie Tall Boys, Premier, Gabe Velarde. So, that's not too bad. Gabe Velarde, one of the best carryover rookies right now. So, he's good. So, there's Gabe Velarde. Um, Adam Pellick, Retro. Brandon Smith Blue, Pellick's not a blank back, I gotta check every time, Gallagher, Barbashev, and Jake Vertanen, I think that's a variation, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, probably not though. Okay. Oh, got a platinum card at least, okay. Alex Steen, Madison Bowie, Dougie Hamilton, and it's a Hab, is it a goalie? Be Carey Price, that'd be cool. Sebastian Ajo, and awesome, Carey Price. Violet Pixels, so these are high numbered then. Right, or not even numbered? Okay, Violet Pixels. Okay then, well that's a nice looking card. I guess that's a preview for Platinum there. So we should be getting one of these special cards in every box, whether it's this or variation or something. But yeah, that's nice, carry price. Violet Pixels, no numbering. I think the numbering should be there, perhaps. Nice card though. Got Morgan Geeky, Retro Rookie. Got a Jonathan Taze, Queen of Clubs there, Jonathan Taze, okay. Team checklist for the Philadelphia Flyers. There you go. Ron Hainsey and Jacob Vrana. So I'd say that Carey Price is the most noteworthy pull thus far. Yeah. Set's not for me. I'm not saying it's bad by any means. It's just not for me. Ryan Murray. Miles Wood. Colton Preco. Brandon Montour. Jake DeBrusque. Retro. Okay. Bobby Hall. Marquee Legends. Checklist uh, for 1 to 500. Carl Soderberg. Brett Connolly. Derek Stepan. Two more packs here. Dustin Brown, Jack Eichel, Carter Rowney, Caleb Jones has a card, okay. Jordan Eberle, Eunice Donskoy, Blue, Justin Falk, uh, Retro, Rasmus Dahlin, Ryan Pulak, Rack Faxa. Final pack of 2021 OPT. And I'm having a hard time hiding my lack of enthusiasm for this product. Okay, Philip Forsberg, Nicholas Jomerson, Jacob Silverberg, Nate Thompson, Ben Bishop, Premier Tall Boys. There you go. Dylan Gambrell, retro. Season highlights. Henrik Lundqvist and Stahl. Is that a parallel? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Jordan Bennington, Philip Deneau, and James Neal. So yeah, guys, there's a hobby box of 2021 OPG. Not for me. Product is not for me. I'm not saying it's bad by any means. It's not a bad product. I mean, that's the pull for me right there, the carry price. Other than that, yeah, I mean, there's some interesting cards here. Some players with cards that don't normally get cards, but yeah. It's not for your hit junkies like myself. Chasing those big pulls, that's what I like doing, and I am willing to admit it. Yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.